The United States' decision to lift one of many sanctions on Burma on Monday is a small but important step for the country, as it opens a channel for international financiers to help the country's economic development. Economic development is key to political reform in this country, which is slowly moving away from the military rule towards democracy. If the current government can introduce sustainable development programs that will benefit ordinary people, they will support the route to democracy. Burma's economic problems are very bit as complicated as its political problems, and the two are closely linked. The country has faced economic sanctions for several years as a result of its political hardline and violations of human rights. The sanctions have complicated an already fragile economy mismanaged under the military junta since 1960s. The sanctions, which have been imposed by the U.S., the European Union, and other Western countries, have also posed obstacles for trade, investment, and economic development assistance. Burmese people have been left in poverty for decades without assistance from any international financiers. The World Bank and the Asian Development Bank approved their latest development loan in 1987 a year before the military crackdown on a popular uprising. The International Monetary Fund only started looking at the country recently after heeding a call that the JAD was facing critical problems. In fact, it has been in trouble for a long time. U.S. President Barack Obama's decision to partially waive sanctions under Trafficking Victims Protection Act allows the U.S. to support international financial institutions such as the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, and the International Monetary Fund to assist the country in rebuilding its economy through the provision of technical assistance. In late January, the IMF concluded an Article 4 mission with an economic outlook report. The mission saw many economic problems in the country and urged the authorities in Nepidor to enforce drastic reform to restructure the economy. According to an IMF officials, the problem was that the fund could only give advice to Burmese authorities but could not provide any assistance, even of a technical nature, to the country. Now, with a minor sanction waiver, the fund can do something more. At the very least, it can offer technical training to Burmese economists on the way to manage the complicated currency exchange structure. However, such assistance might be too little for the country to restructure its economy. The government in Nebido needs to do a great deal through its own resources and relying on its own capabilities. If they wait for the lifting of all sanctions and for full assistance to arrive, it might be too late. Supalak Kanjana Kundi, the nation's analysis for ASEAN TV.